Hi, I'm Jessica. And I'm Kira. And we are the, the Keepers, Keepers of the, the Books. Books. Your online librarians. And this is Weekly Reads Part 7B. <laughs> I know, I know. We had some camera trouble. And so we need to bring you the second half of Weekly Reads 7. So that means you get an extra video this week. First of all, we have a correction to make. In Eden's Escape, I noticed that I said Piper once, or it sounded like I said Piper, and I said Pepper. The girl, the genie that she's living with, her name is Pepper. And then we forgot to show you a cover for Charmed Fairy Tale Reform School by Jen Kalanita. So this is, this is that. Just so you know what you're looking for. Dungeonology, an epic adventure through the Forgotten Realms. This book's kind of interesting because it, the series it's from that they're basing it off of is actually a adult book, but it's good for kids too. But the best part about this book is it has all sorts of info about the magical world, magical items, magical weapons, and it even has a bit of awesome illustrations and pop-up parts. And we're gonna show you the map again. So I like this map because it's very detailed. It looks very realistic for a map. And it has information about the different areas on the map all around it. So if you're a big fantasy fan or like Dungeons and Dragons or even like Forgotten Realms, you'll like Dungeonology. Great for grades, four and up, all the way through adult or eight to adult. So if you've loved Dragonology, Mythology, Egyptology, Vampireology, Alienology, Monsterology, and all those other ology books that I, you know I could go on for a while talking about, you'll love this book. And this is from Candlewick Press. I listened to two books this week. I'm gonna review them together as a series. I finally was able to get the Allie Carter books on the audiobooks. The library books are still checked out. Both of these books are for ages 12 and up or grade seven and up, and they're called All Fall Down and See How They Run. This is the Embassy Row series. So this is in Adria, and you have Grace Blakely, age 16, who is living there in the US Embassy on Embassy Row, which is basically it's all the embassies for all the countries are together. And that's a little confusing in the beginning because she's saying she jumps off the wall from one country into the other and you're like, they're nowhere near each other. But then you realize she's on Embassy Row and it makes all kinds of sense. So Grace Blakely's 16. A few years ago, her mother was murdered and she keeps seeing the guy with the scar who murdered her mother. And she does keep envisioning her mother's ghost or having visions, mental images of the past events that she had with her mother. For instance, she may see her mother somewhere or remember a past event that they were at together. And when she's seeing this murderer, she of course wants to catch her mother's killer. She knows she's not crazy and she's gotta prove it. She's gotta find the murderer and her brother has put his best friend, a boy from, boy, teen, from the Russian embassy to take care of her while he's, to keep an eye on her while he, she's there because he's at West Point and their father's been deployed. And so she's kind of all by herself and grandpa's really busy because he's the ambassador. And Alexei's this boy. The relationship with Alexei is complicated only by the fact that he's from Russia. And of course there's tensions between Russia and the US embassies or the countries, it's a complicated relationship in that sense. And that's an all fall down. I'm not going to tell you any more of that story because it will spoil the plot. Now we're gonna jump to see how they run. There's of course a big reveal at the end of book one. We are not going to talk about that because we're not gonna spoil it. That plays into the beginning of book two. So she's there, she's still in the embassy. So in all fall down, her brother comes from West Point on leave with his friend for the holiday and they're visiting the embassy. Jay kisses Grace. Alexi is so mad and they're at this party. He, Jay kisses her, Alexi's mad, big fight ensues. Of course, everybody catches it on camera. All these kids from all the embassies at this party and Alexi threatens to kill him. Well, the next day, Jay's body washes up on shore. So then you can put all of that together and you've got the plot of the book. And of course, both of them are very fun, psychological mystery thrillers. And that adds a lot of suspense to the novel, of course, with huge reveals at the end and lots of builds up before. And they're just very fun. Allie Carter's a fantastic author and she really pulls everything together. And I will be sad if she ever stops writing books because I love her mysteries. These are both narrated by 
Eileen Stevens. She narrated Annex by Sharon Doger and Dumplin' by Julie Murphy. So you may have heard her stuff before. I love the suspense she has in her voice and she just carries the, she has the right pauses. She has the right carry throughout the book and the speed. Her voices for the characters are so unique. You can tell them apart. The boys all have the accent from their country. Well, so do the girls. You see the boys more in the book interacting with Grace. So you get those voices a little bit more. Eileen is the perfect narrator for this series. Very good audiobooks. I highly recommend them. They're fun to listen to and suspenseful as well. Our next book is Star Wars Galactic Maps. So this book, it takes you from the beginning of Star Wars world all the way through to the last movie. And it has a timeline, which is kind of cool. So if you're like me and was a little confused where certain parts of the story fit in, it's perfect for that. Oh, you got the characters too. It introduces you to all the characters, all your favorites too, like Chewbacca and Lando Chris. You might remember him, Calrissian, however you say that. BB-8, of course, my favorite. Is it three, three? Yeah, I know. Mine's favorite character is a robot who acts like a golden retriever. <laughs> it's fun to see the backgrounds of all the different characters as well as how they fit into the Star Wars, Wars world and also the planets where all the big battles happened. And it really puts it into perspective of how the Empire works as well as how it's really brought down and tells you, okay, this is where Star Wars Rebels fits in. This is where Clone Wars fit into the whole picture. And it happened on these planets. And guess what? Here's some more info about it. So including Endor, where you'll find my favorite creature, the Ewok. It has a map from Star Wars Rogue One. It says it right there. So <laughs> you're gonna have to take Disney's word for it. And we'd like to thank Disney for this review book by Tim McDonough, The Star Wars Galactic Maps. This is a really fun book. I think it would make a great present for a lot of Star Wars aficionados so you, that you can see exactly how all the places and all the timelines and the characters all fit together in a visual sense. I know that really helps, for instance, with Ender's Game to see a timeline of where the books go and which characters are in them. I especially like this one because it just, it's very visually friendly. Even I can follow where all the little details are. So this comes out this month, December 2016. This is a great present, don't you think? Oh yeah. Hey, there is some news. Now, it's time for bookish news. The Sun is also a Star Wars option for a movie this week, and we did get a copy of that to read, finally. There, the summer reading theme for the U.S. has been announced. Build a better world. This is a great theme, I think. It'll be a lot of fun. It'll go great with maker spaces and with activities in the library. So we'll have some special episodes in summer just to fit into that because I think that'll be tons of fun and maybe some challenges where you can share videos on what you have made to make a better world. We also want to announce a new section of videos we're going to do. Kira's a kids librarian. She likes working with the little kids and it is a bit different than working with the teens and adults. So we're going to do things that we would normally do with younger children. I know some of the adults may or may not like to see that. That's okay. We'll put it in a separate playlist, but you can share it with the kids. Kira has claimed <laughs> that she can come up with a book and a Dewey number for any topic, any book, any character, any kid. She claims you cannot stump her. <laughs> so in order to challenge her, I have bought... <laughs> If you can't tell, minifigures. A variety of minifigures. We do not know what is in these boxes. Some of them might be easier than others, like Thomas the Train. We do have somewhere, oh, Nintendo ones. The new Nintendo game came out this week. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Monster High. And there are Lego Disney minifigures in here. And Splashlings. And Minions. Some of these I think are gonna be a little harder for her, like Crystal Surprise, Little Baby Pets. I don't know, I guess there's always nonfiction. Dory. Hey, they're made out of crystal, supposedly, so can't be that hard. So she's gotta come up with a book and we'll do shorter videos. We will open a surprise mystery pack, find the character, and Kira will have to name books right off the bat to go with the creatures inside. Do you think she can do it? I think we're gonna be able to stump her. So none of these are open. We don't know what's in them. 
and we won't know which one we're grabbing until we open it from the box. But of course, by the time we're done, it'll end up in the tags or the title in the video description on what it was, so you'll have to find it. Other things we will feature will be things like puppet shows. Make and take crafts are huge in the library. They're just short little crafts that take just a second. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times they are themed with a book. So we'll have some of those book reviews just for kids. Short, concise book reviews. Thank you for joining us for part 7B of Weekly Reads, our uh, mistake episode. <laughs> and we hope to see you soon. Enjoy your reading. Please put in the comments if you have a topic you want to stump Kira on, especially when it comes to children's literature or a character that you think you can stump her on. Until next time, happy reading. Bye. Bye.